I think that he just had a lot of respect for kids and had a lot of respect for their talent, you know, and their intuition. I always felt so much freedom with him. I always felt like I was a part of the collaborative process, you know, that it wasn't just he was telling me what to do or he was talking down to me. It was always, what do you think? And what do you think we should do for this scene? And he trusted my ideas and he let me do them. <laughs> And then my teacher tells me about this other book by a guy named Backer. Backer. And he said, and he said cl slammed on his face. And he slid. Good. Good, good, good. And it was that kind of relationship where I felt like a part of the gang rather than like an outsider looking in that I think brings out such great performances in children. You show up and you're just kind of taking taken aback a second because it's so lifelike. It's so real. You feel the energy from it. And you kind of don't want to even get too close. But uh, when you like kind of get co more comfortable, all you want to do is put your hands on it and just like touch it and see like, is this real? Like how is this, how, even the texture, you know, the feeling of it. I just remember being blown away. I remember being on set for the kitchen scene and looking behind one of the counters or whatever and seeing about 15 people all operating a different part of the Raptor. It was like a, a symphony. And then the sequence at the end, I remember the, the bones were supposed to be falling down on me and they did that reverse, so I had to actually act in reverse, which was the whole new thing for me. Then I remember watching it in the movie theater and saying, hey, look at that, it works. I think it's a great ending to us be saved by one of the things that's trying to eat us. <laughs> I used to listen to it and be like, well, this is unbelievable. This really is just like a beautiful piece of music, with or without the movie attached. But then when you see it with the movie and the way, you know, that it, enhances moments like by like tenfold you know just suddenly it's a whole new level of magic i remember being in the theater scared to death when laura dern says we're back in business and the and the raptor comes up to the, the fence behind her i was able to be an audience member and actually feel it the way it was supposed to be felt oh boy there's nothing like walking out of that movie i call that my steven spielberg graduation present uh because i was on set for two hours, max, maybe. Um, and I basically got my college tuition paid for because of that movie. And so it was this like little special gift kind of that I was given, like kind of for doing Jurassic Park. And it was just kind of a little bit of a reunion to see um, Jeff Goldblum again, to see Ariana again, to work with Steven again. It was great to at least say, you know, that I could kind of just dip my finger in it, just be, be a part of the, the next one too.